Hey guys, uh, we're gonna go through all the Trinity Core GM commands that are accessible to GM rank 3. This is a default server, I just compiled it today. Uh, each command needs, needs to have a dot at the beginning or an exclamation mark and you can do help or you can do commands or command. Uh, this will show you the entire list of commands you can access depends on your rank if I go and do dot account you can see my uh, account level since it is default this is uh, administrator you can have four levels the fourth is only for the console aka world server not to be accessible in game so I do not have a GM tag I am level one which means I'm extremely vulnerable I will get one shotted by these creatures. So let's just die real quick. Yeah, I died. Now, if I want to revive myself, the command is dot revive or in short dot rev. However, I cannot chat when I'm dead. What do I do? I do slash O as in officer. This is the officer chat of my guild level. Since I'm the only one in my guild, I can access this uh, officer chat. But even if you're not part of any guild, you can actually access it. I do dot rev and I'm alive but only temporary. How can I make it so this NPC will not be able to hurt me anymore? I simply do GM on. Now while I have a GM on you can see that I have a GM tag but my chat does not have a blizzard symbol unlike many other servers you might have seen a uh, blizzard symbol. So let's just start with getting myself up. So now I can walk around freely. But how do I set this GM level and, uh, sorry, how do I set this GM um, chat symbol? Very simple, GM chat. GM chat is off. I can do it, GM chat on and GM chat off. Well, GM chat is on. You can see that this happens. However, if I set this off and I type, it will not work anymore. Now, if I do dev, dev on, as in developer, this by default turns itself on if i do gm chat off once again it will be irrelevant because all the developers are immediate G uh, blizzard officials so well that is done we can go back to say chat now i want to rush to this npc real quick what do i do mod speed and mod speed 5. by default the, the speed you are set to is one if you set it to two it will be uh, running speed then three it will be a bit faster and then we can have four five like this until 50 if I do 100 it will not work it will surpass it only if you uh, remove the limitation from the client itself uh, from the server itself it is not really recommended you can <laughs> really do well with uh, with 50 so after we're done setting our speed i usually go 10 even 5 i think is more than enough uh how do i make it so i can fly uh very simple gym fly on it's that simple to fly up i use space to fly down i use control or uh sorry i do x uh, as in sit so now I can fly and I can walk really, really fast or mid-air swim. How do I add myself an item? As we probably know, an item is part of the GM experience. Let's start with looking an item up. How do I look it up? I want to add a new item called gold coin or gold uh, token or gold something. Look up item gold you can see a list of all the gold uh, related items. When you click on it, you can see the item uh, information. Uh, this way you can decide which one you actually want to have. Add item and when you shift click on it, you can actually link the item. So after you've done that, you can actually uh, have the item. Now let's assume you want to remove this very specific item because you made a mistake. You can first of all you can delete it second of all you can do minus one which will remove one item of this uh, this specific link that you just created now instead of having a link you can do the same with the item ID it will be exactly the same 
as long as you have a link or the item ID itself. Now let's move on to item sets. That it's very simple, but uh, you will simply need to have a specific item set that you can find on uh, Wowhead, if I'm not mistaken. Add item set. Add item set four, six, seven, and yeah, you can have this uh, specific item set. Now notice that I executed one command, but it gave me three items. Now you cannot remove an item set like this by having minus one because nothing can guarantee that you actually possess all three items. However, what you can do is you do add item, you link this and minus one, same for this and same for, uh, yeah, need to remove one and same for this minus one. Now notice that it doesn't matter how many spaces this one actually have, uh, has, uh, as long as it works, it works. Now if I do not have enough of this specific item that I just removed, it will not let it, it will not work. Um, moving on to uh, GM tickets. As you probably know, if you need any sort of help, help me GM, I am stuck dead. What do we do? Uh, only GMs can see a new incoming ticket. Now, how do we access this support ticket? Because many times you can see an announcement that says, if you need any help, you can uh, you can send the support ticket and it will work. Uh, first of all, when a GM is online, he can see this ticket, which is fine because I am online. I just saw this ticket being, um, being sent and I can uh, log out because I ran out of, out of time. I can log back in game and I cannot see this ticket anymore. What do I do? Ticket list. You can see ticket list and you can have ticket online list, which will basically show me a list of all the tickets whose uh, creator is currently online. Notice that this uh, binds to this, uh, the creator name, not the entire account, only the specific character. Now, okay, I see this ticket. What do I do from here? ticket view and I can see view ID and view name view ID is basically this number that I see here ticket one or I can do view name and I can insert the server uh, server lands here the svlands name now both of them should work the same ticket view I will go by name svlands this is not case sensitive uh, so you don't really need to worry about it and let's just uh, make sure that this works as well view id one yeah it works just as well now okay i contacted i contacted um sv lands hey how can i help you uh oh i cannot really whisper to myself what do i do i do whisper and i can see off Let's set this to on and now let me send myself a message. I can send myself a message. If I set this back off again, I will not be able to send myself any any whisper message. Now, this is only valid as long as you're a GM and uh, players cannot use this command. And uh, yeah, so let's, ju let's just assume I resolved my ticket. How do I prevent from it ever appearing for any other GM? I simply do ticket close one and then I delete it so no one can actually see the ticket closed list which is located right there close tickets that are not resolved I can do ticket delete one uh, if I send a new ticket please notice that this square has been removed it no long longer exists after I close the ticket if I delete it or not that's not relevant but as long as the ticket does not exist anymore as enclosed, uh, it's fine. Now let's assume uh, I want to talk to your manager, okay? Now I'm not the manager, the manager is SV Lands. What do I do? I can assign the ticket, ticket assign, and I can see the ticket ID, which is not one, this time it's two, and I can assign it to SV Lands. Now when I view the ticket, ticket, 
uh, list, I can see that this ticket is being assigned to SVLANs. Now, that does not mean I myself cannot access the ticket or resolve it, but that will actually mean that this is not for other uh, staff members to access, it is assigned to someone else. It's like informing other people, even though you're offline, do not touch this ticket. So let's just remove this ticket real quick. Ticket close one. Oh my god. And ticket delete. Delete two. Now please notice that if we have a ticket uh, GM, for example, if I do GMC, it will automatically assume it knows the uh, the command I will execute. Uh, GMC as in GM chat, I can do CH, I can do CHA, and I can do CHAT. And it all of it will print the same. However, if I do GMO, notice that I have uh, multiple options. I have off and I have on. So I will need to specify. Uh, the same goes for server, and I can do the same for sir. Like, it doesn't really matter if I complete the entire word or not. Sir res and server restart. It's, <laughs> both of them are exactly the same. Just one is a shorter, shorter version of the other one, and the other one is the longer version. Uh, it's very helpful if you know the commands and you just don't want to have two more seconds spending on typing. It's something you can save time on, but it's not that much. Uh, anyways, server, uh, we can have server uh, restart. We can have uh, just ignore all these. They're not really relevant. We can go to server information. We can see all the details. It most likely will be blocked on many other servers. Uh, we can have shutdown, we can have uh, restart, and all the other things should not really concern you, even though you can check them out by yourself. Uh, we can have ban, ban command. Assuming you caught a hacker, I now have speed hacks, I can move uh, times 50, and I am godlike, okay? No, we do not want you to be godlike, we want you to be banned. What do we do? We can do ban account. How do I get an account? That's very simple. I do pinfo. Pinfo, aka PI. Please notice that these ones are irrelevant. You can remove them from Trinity String. It will be in a different video. Uh, pinfo, it gives me the account name. It gives me the account level, GM level. It gives me all the information that someone might want to have about me. This is being displayed only to GMs. So you have nothing to worry about if you, if you are concerned about uh, information leak unless you do not trust your own staff members which is a problem myself um, I want to ban someone I can have his account banned and I can have his IP or his character name banned the most common one is obviously account ban uh, it can it comes in different uh, methods there are two commands one of them is uh, ban account ban account name Sorry, ban account, just like that. Uh, you simply set the account name. Let's assume uh, ban account uh, SVLANs uh, time is uh, four days and reason is please. SVLANs was not found, but basically it would have banned him for uh, four days and the ban reason would be please. Now, how do I actually check my own ban history? Ban info. That is the command. Ban info, uh, only three methods, just like ban. Instead of uh, having ban info and you simply insert the player name, you need to insert the account or character or IP. Ban info account server lands, which is my account, has never been banned. If I want to ban someone based on his own uh, character name, we do ban and we can do ban player account or we can do ban p both of them work exactly the same ban p sv lands and i can set the uh one second for the reason please yep uh i don't know why i'm not kicked but basically it should have been done 
Uh, wait, let's do this one more time. Oh, I think it's because it's one second. Let's do two seconds. Let's do <laughs> one minute. There you go. All right, so I guess when you ban yourself, it doesn't really work. That's actually quite smart. So now we can check ban info. Ban info, um, account, uh, account ID. My account ID is one. Uh, server lens. There you go. And uh, yeah, I cannot really. <laughs> this is my ban history. Let's assume someone has been offending someone else and is constantly uh, cursing at other people and is being a real douche about basically whatever. We can mute him. How do we actually do that? We have mute. Mute works only per player. It will bind to the account, yes, but it will work only if you set the player name, not the um, not the account name. So you can mute uh, admin, that is his name, and the character does not exist. Yeah, sure. Uh, you do one day, and the reason will be stop being like that. Very simple. Uh, this character is not, um, it doesn't exist, but you know, still the, um, the intention is the same. The method is the same. Now, like we can check ban history, we can check mute history. We do that by having mute history. It doesn't have a syntax. Mute history uh, server lens. Yeah, basically no mutes for account server lens. This needs to be modified, I think, by Trinity Core. But still, um, these are the main commands. We can have several additional ones. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that you will need the most as a beginning uh, GM. If you have additional uh, suggestions, you feel free to leave them in the comments below and uh, have a great day.